In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to easily make some no-sew neutral colored Easter throw pillows. So the first thing that you'll need is a pillow cover. Now this is kind of a nice, easy blank slate to start our project. Once you get these out of the package though, you'll notice that they are quite wrinkled. So before we get started, I'm going to iron this really quick. So the very next thing we're gonna do is draw a large egg shape on our pillow cover. Now I'm just gonna use a pencil to do that. To make the egg shape a little bit more perfect, I decided to draw an oval in Microsoft Word and print it out. So I'm just kind of slipping that into this pillow cover because the fabric is slightly sheer. And so I know that I'll be able to see the oval through the fabric and be able to easily um, trace it. So I'm just kind of tracing around the oval. So now we have our egg shape on the pillow. So the next thing that we're gonna need is some decorative trims. So I had so much fun going through the section and kind of picking out um, different trims that I thought would be pretty to decorate our Easter egg. So this is one of the trims that I picked out and it's kind of just a smoky faint blue with a hint of beige. And this is the other decorative trim that I picked out to go with this blue one. So it's kind of a variety of different beiges and has kind of a fringe to it. So I thought that this would be very cute um, with this one. So for this project, we're gonna use a fabric scissors. So there is a difference between a fabric scissors and a regular scissors, of course. Um, fabric scissors just cut fabric a lot better than most pairs of regular scissors. Um, they get a nice clean edge, especially for things like this. Um, these can fray quite a bit. As you can see at the craft store, they taped the edge to keep it from fraying. Um, we'll be using some hot glue to keep them from fraying and also kind of they'll be covered on the ends, but we do want a nice crisp cut. So that's why I'm using a fabric scissors. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of give this a nice cut edge. Now I think I'll have the first section of this right around here. So right where I'm meeting this next edge, I'm gonna also make another cut. Now again, we're gonna to wanna to handle this very delicately because we don't want to fray these edges. So um, we'll just kind of leave that right there. And I'm just gonna kind of pick off a few of these little things just to kind of keep the project a little cleaner. So then I'm just gonna cut this one and I think we'll do one more. So we have our decorative pieces of um, this fringe trim laid out approximately here where we want them. I think I'm gonna move that one up like so. This one we'll have about right there. I know it's a little off center, but I'm gonna um, prune that off here in a second, so. And you know, I think I am going to have just a little curve to the trim as well because it kind of gives it a little bit more of an egg shape. Something like that, I think is what we'll do. So I'm going to trim this probably right about here. So we have our first little pieces kind of resting in place, but they're not attached yet. Um, I'm kind of leaving them unattached at the moment just so that I can move things around a little bit um, as we work. So next, we're gonna have some of this blue. So I'm just going to give a fresh cut carefully to the one end. A 
we'll have it go up to right here. And there are so many decorative trims and ways that you could decorate these eggs. These trims I just thought were really pretty, but there were so many different ones to choose from. So if you go to the fabric section, usually in the stores, and sometimes there's a separate trim um, and ribbon section. The store that I was in had multiple sections of the trim that weren't right next to each other, actually. So um, there was a lot of fun things to choose from. So what we're gonna use to attach these trims to this pillow cover is simply some hot glue. So basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna start with a little dot here, and I definitely don't want to use too much. So I'm just gonna put a little dot, and then just kinda get the end attached here. So I do want to make a little curve to this as well, so I'm gonna kinda Make a little line with the hot glue. Okay, so as you can see, that piece is now attached. So I'm just gonna continue working, attaching the rest of the pieces. For this fringe piece, I am going to only add glue to um, the top portion. I'm not gonna actually glue down the bottom of the fringe. So um, pretty much I'm just gonna have glue right behind this area right here. So after we have all these little trim pieces glued down, the next thing we're gonna do is use this rope trim to outline our egg. So to hide this um, cut end, I'm going to kind of tuck it underneath this fringe here. So I'm just gonna give this end a fresh cut and then I'm gonna apply some glue right under this fringe area to hold the end. So then I'm just going to kind of follow the outline of our egg with some hot glue, little kind of pieces at a time, and then slowly kind of outline our egg with the rope. And we're getting close to the end, so I'm gonna just kind of prune the little trim piece. Then I'm just going to finish gluing the rest of that in there. And there you have a cute decorative Easter egg pillow cover. Now, the fun thing about doing a pillow cover like this is it's a lot easier to store as well because I have lots of pillows already around the house. And so you can kind of just zip these over top of existing um, throw pillows that you have to kind of give them a seasonal update. So I have one more version of this egg pillow I was gonna make and this next one is a little bit simpler because it uses um, less trim pieces. So this is the decorative trim I chose for this other pillow. So using my scissors I'm going to just cut the top edge of that here. Okay, so I have my little trims laid out, but as you can see, we're kind of missing something right here. And so I just cut off a few of the little um, tassels to glue on over in this area. So again, using my glue gun, I'm just going to attach these trim pieces.
And I'm just gonna put a little glue on the back of these to attach them as well. Okay, so now that those are attached, the next thing we're gonna add is an outline, just like we did on the other egg. So there you have another really easy decorative Easter pillow cover. So I'm just gonna put some pillows in these, lint roll them really quick, and I'll show you the finished look. Welcome to my channel. I'm Christopher Heidemann and I love to decorate. Over the years, I've had a blast sharing a variety of craft and decorating videos. From cozy fall and spooky Halloween to warm and inviting Christmas. and other fun videos, including seasonal home tours, garden tours, simple desserts and treats, floral arrangements, and other projects to make your holidays and home even more spectacular.